Up. Yes. <sighs> Feel it in your legs a little bit, Nick? <laughs> my man. I'm shaking my head no as a, the, this sucks. <laughs> the no get me out of here. <laughs>Hey folks, I'm Dr. Mike, professor of sports science and co-founder of Renaissance Periodization, inventor and creator of the RP Hypertrophy app, which I will be using today to do a dumbbell only leg workout. And the person I'm doing it to is my boss, CEO of RP, Nick Shaw. I sure hope this goes well. Let's get started. The first exercise of the three that we're going to be doing today is the dumbbell stiff legged deadlift. It is going to hit the glutes. It is going to even strengthen your lower back. Primary target is the back of the leg, the hamstrings. Technique is super important on this exercise, so let's look into a few key tips and tricks to how to make this work best for you. Most people will make a mistake of simply taking the dumbbells and bending over, flexing at the spine. That doesn't pre-stretch the hamstrings. It's not very effective. It looks cool and it'll strengthen your back, but it's not a hamstring exercise. What we want is for three things to be in check. The first is we want our knees just slightly bent, not locked out, not bent like crazy, just a tiny bend. The second thing we want is a big chest the entire time. You're going to be sitting back at your hips and your chest has to stay elevated so your back is nice and arched the whole time that pre-stretches the hamstrings. It keeps your back very safe and it allows you to put maximum tension on the hamstrings. The third thing we want is to take our butts and try to push them as far over to the back wall of wherever you are. And if you're outside the other side of the earth, such that your hands are just hooks, they're hanging there, no bend, nothing. Big chest, knees in a stable position, just barely bent, keeping the knees there, keeping the chest up. Nick is going to shoot his hips back slowly, reaching his butt backwards. And as he does that, you'll notice that his hamstrings are going to be under a ton of tension. Do you feel that in your hands? Oh yeah. Let's go do some work sets. Nick already did one warm-up set with light dumbbells. You want at least one warm-up set of about 10 repetitions, nice and slow to groove into the movement, get yourself ready. And then you're probably ready to go if you're working out with just a few dumbbells at home. He's a pretty strong guy, so he's gonna be using the 40-pound dumbbells his grip will be the limiting factor if he doesn't use a pair of wrist straps. And in this case, this is a product called VersaGrips. No affiliation. I've reached out to them a few times. They pretend not to know that we exist. But they're awesome and we highly recommend them. If you need grip support, this is the strap to use. If you don't, and you probably don't, just grab the dumbbells firmly and we're going to do a set of, gee whiz, 10 to 15, maybe even 20 repetitions. Any weight that you pick that challenges you brings you close to muscular failure with anywhere between five and 30 repetitions is totally effective for strength and muscle growth and physique development. No wrong answers here. The only right answer is proper technique the entire time. Oh yeah. One last one. Big chest. Arch. And up. Perfect. And then just put them down. Awesome. You want to make sure that every working set that you do takes you close to muscular failure. And the way we count muscular failure is, can you continue to move in the exact movement pattern of good technique while your muscles are still contracting in the way that they're supposed to be? If your muscles are doing a good job, but your technique starts to slide, that's already beyond failure. If you can keep good technique, keep doing more repetitions until you're really starting to slow down and the weight is feeling heavy. We're gonna do three sets total today. Because this is a dumbbell workout, we don't need to take very long breaks. For you at home, anything like 30 seconds to a minute between sets should be totally fine. The goal of the exercise is to put tension on the hamstrings. And by going slowly, we have a really great mind-muscle connection with the hamstrings. We're making sure they're active, they're being stretched, they're being loaded. The temptation is to be like, oh, all right, let me just get these out of the way. You're not here to get them out of the way. You are here to impart tension on the muscle, which means keep it slow, keep it steady. Your body will not like that, but your body doesn't like to get in shape. It likes to be in shape. You're gonna get in shape doing this stuff. Oh yes, 
make sure to pause at the bottom and really milk that painful stretch. Let's do a nice two second pause here at the bottom, Nick. One and two and up. Beautiful. Oh, stumbling a little bit. It's a hard workout. That's why we're here. All right. Excellent stuff. We're going to regroup. The next exercise we're going to do is a dumbbell front squat. Exercise number two of three. We hit the glutes a lot. We hit the hamstrings a ton. Now it's time for quads and glutes at the same time. The dumbbell front squat. Here's how this works. And we're going to have an interesting two modifiers to this, because if you only have some dumbbells at home, you have to be a little bit creative as to how to impart a lot of stimulus onto your uh, quads. And Nick here looks a little frightened and he should be because this is going to hurt. So we have just a mat here and you can use anything you have around your house, including some hiking boots that give you a nice heel. We want a big heel to our setup so that we can stay more upright and have the knees travel way over our toes. You're going to keep your feet roughly shoulder width apart, toes pointed out, and you're going to squat down slowly to full depth position. Notice how far ahead my knees are. My upper body is completely upright. Chest is up the entire time. I take one full second to sit here at the bottom, but I don't come all the way up. If you come all the way up with a normal barbell, normal leg press hack squat, that's totally cool. There's lots of load. Here, we only have dumbbells. We don't have the benefit of a high load. So we're going to try to challenge our muscles a ton. The research has shown that muscles grow better in the bottom half, bottom two thirds of the range of motion than the top half or top third of the range of motion. He's going to come up two thirds of the way up and then go right back down and hold for a second. And you're thinking, but when does he get a break? He doesn't. It's terrible. And then he's going to go all the way up two thirds and then come back down. And that's going to be how he does most of these repetitions when he is very close to failure. And when you're doing this at home and you're really close to failure, come up and lock out completely. Take five seconds of breathing and then begin again. And we're going to go in each set two rest breaks. Last one here. Ultra slow. Five and one more. Let's go. Slow. Pause. Up. Yes. That hurts me. I'm not even doing anything. About one minute rest, and then we get right back into it. Nick just walked off. I think he's done with the photo shoot. We're doing three sets total, but each one has three approaches to muscular failure. So it's really kind of like six to nine sets somewhere. It's pretty brutal. Just start out with two or three sets yourself if you do this workout. And over the weeks, you can add sets if you need more volume, if you're recovering ahead of schedule. You guys will notice Nick's upper body is completely upright and straight. His chest is vertical. His elbows are up. If you start to round over, the dumbbells start to fall. No one's having any fun. Doesn't really look like Nick's having fun right now either, but beautiful. And one more here. Full pause. Up all the way. Rest. Breathe. Five seconds. And we'll do our last little mini set. Feel it in your legs a little bit, Nick? My man. I'm shaking my head no as a, the, the sucks. <laughs> the no get me out of here. Five more. Let's do it. Big chest. One. Slow. Two. Slow. Three. Control the bottom. Control. Four. And one last one. Super pause. Up. Yes. Beautiful. Awesome. Nick's going to go to his sad place off camera and cry and rub his quads. One exercise left. It is going to be the dumbbell split squat. Oh my God, dude, my quads are pumped. Dumbbell split squat targets the quads, the inner thighs, and massively targets the glutes. Execution here is really important. What Nick is going to do is he's going to put one of his feet up on the front, on this little platform. He's going to take the other foot and kick it back, gee, about three or four feet, a nice distance to get a really good stretch. The target is this back glute right here. His chest is going to be completely upright. 
He's gonna put most of his force and weight on that front leg. And he's only gonna use the back leg on his tippy toes to stabilize. And his goal is gonna be to touch his back knee ever so gently to the ground and hold it there for a split second while generating all the force with his legs. We're only gonna do two sets of this, but it's one set means you go with one leg, probably your weaker leg first, you rest about 30 seconds, you go with the other leg, you rest a minute, and then you do set number two. So two sets here is really four sets in reality. Folks, the reason for the elevation here, you can do these on the ground, no problem. The reason for the elevation is because at the bottom, if you elevate the front foot, it stretches your glute out more. And that tension under stretch is shown scientifically to grow more muscle. It won't feel great, but it'll be good for you. It's like eating vegetables, I guess. One, chest up. Two. Three, big chest. Four, oh my God, that's it. That's it, that's failure. Beautiful, beautiful work. Uh, uh, and just like that, he's gone. Oh, uh, that's terrible. Last set of the day. Excellent. Excellent. Nice little break. Breathe it out a little bit. Very good. Three more. One. Good, no worries. If you lose your balance, just reset as soon as you can. Two, and then last one, slow. Yes, yes, perfect. Go ahead and rack. While Nick is breathing heavy, let me throw some more facts at you. Nick is an IFBB professional bodybuilder. He trains in a gym loaded with barbells, dumbbells, heavyweights, machines, a couple of 20 and 40 pound dumbbells with a little platform. You think there's no way he can get a good workout. Nick, how are you feeling? Yeah. It's rough. You said it all. <laughs> you can make these workouts ultra tough at home. And if you download the RP Hypertrophy app, link in the description, then the app can build these workouts for you, guide you every step of the way, and make sure that week to week, month to month, you're progressing with your goals in mind. Do you need the app to do these workouts? No, if you just wanna do them at home for free, we are absolutely down with that. Have fun. If you want that little extra bit of help, it can be an awesome consideration. Give it some thought. And uh, while we scrape Nick off the floor here, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.